Now let me see the types of electronic transition. There are four types of transition observed in a molecule depending upon the kind of electron undergo. Now let you look at the molecular energy diagram that there is always when, whenever a molecule irradiated with the electromagnetic radiation there is excitation of electron from bonding molecular orbital to anti-bonding molecular orbital. So you do keep in that bonding molecular orbital are always lower energy orbital, anti-bonding molecular orbital are always higher energy orbital, isn't it? So now let you look, look at this sigma bonding molecular, sigma bonding atomic orbital, then pi bonding atomic orbital, isn't it? Pi bonding atomic orbital and then we are having n non-bonding atomic orbital non-bonding atomic orbital where non-bonding electron is what you know is. so this is what the pi star anti-bonding atomic orbital sigma star anti-bonding atomic orbital isn't it so now four types of transition takes place sigma to sigma star which is you know the high energy transition let you look at this the energy involved in this transition sigma to sigma star is high energy transition so it shows a very less absorption wavelength because energy and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other so it requires high energy so therefore it shows a very less absorption wavelength pi to pi star it is comparatively lesser than sigma to sigma star so pi star bonding pi bonding to pi star anti bonding transition this is second one third one is n to sigma n to sigma star and the fourth one is n to pi star n to pi star isn't it so this is there are four types of transition now let you look at the types of kinds of electron present sigma electron whenever there is molecule containing sigma bond therefore it contains both the sigma electron in sigma bond whenever there is molecule having pi bond which contain pi electron isn't it and non-bonding electron is always unshared electron usually whenever there is a hetero atom present in the molecule like nitrogen oxygen sulfur which contain the non-bonding electron which having which are having non-bonding electron so you can uh, you can see here whenever there is hetero atom present in the molecule it must have non-bonding electron the absorption of radiation of wavelength between of 200 to 700 nanometer cause excitation of electron from highest occupied bonding molecular orbital to lowest unoccupied anti-bonding molecular orbital this is called electronic excitation that is from homo to lumo so you do keep in mind that as i have told you that molecule when irradiated with electromagnetic radiation undergo electronic tra transition or electronic excitation and excitation always takes place from homo to lumo homo means homo means uh, uh, homo means highest occupied molecular orbital highest occupied molecular orbital which is bonding molecular orbital and lumo means lowest unoccupied molecular orbital which is anti-bonding orbital lowest unoccupied anti-bonding orbital now let you look at the four types of tra electronic transition one by one the first one is sigma to sigma star transition it is a high energy transition absorption takes place at a very short wavelength approximately 150 nanometer it is less than 200 nanometer isn't it this is sigma orbital and this is sigma star anti-bonding orbital this is molecular orbital this is anti-bonding orbital so you can have here you can see here when a molecule containing sigma bond it undergo sigma to sigma star transition and because of one electron undergo transition you can have here it is sigma to sigma star for any alkane alkane molecule the lambda max uh, shows 135 nanometer 135 nanometer it is very less it is less than 200 or not it is less than again 200 so therefore it shows in uv visible region not in visible region the excitation of sigma bond electron to sigma star anti-bonding level occurs within the net retention of space and as absorption in this region is beyond the range of ordinary uv spectrometer hence it is less informative and so therefore sigma to sigma star transitions are less informative transition because it requires high energy and it shows a very less absorption wavelength so whenever there is molecule koi bhi high alkane higher alkane ya phir molecule which contains sigma bond shows sigma to sigma star transition you to keep in mind this now pi to pi star transition the excitation of pi electron requires low energy and hence transition of this type occur at longer wavelength this is sigma 
बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल दिस इज सिग्मा एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल यहाँ से एक इलेक्ट्रॉन यहाँ पे जाएगा सो यू कैन हैव हियर इट इज पाई टू पाई स्टार ट्रांजिशन एंड द मोस्ट ऑफ दूजिबल स्पेक्ट्रा इन्वॉल्व दिस ट्रांजिशन पाई टू पाई स्टार ट्रांजिशन आर जनरली मोर इंटेंस मोर इंटेंस ट्रांजिशन दैन एन टू फाइव स्टार हाउ इट इज यू कैन सी हियर इट इज सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल एल्किन मॉलिक्यूल हायर एल्किन मॉलिक्यूल विच कैन सी फाइव वन सो द लैमडा मैक्स इज वन सेवेंटी सेवन नैनोमीटर एंड हियर इट इज इंटेंसिटी यू कैन सी हियर इट इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड थर्टीन थाउजेंड परसेंट सेंटीमीटर इन बस सेंटीमीटर इन बस दिस इज फाइव टू फाइव स्टार ट्रांजिशन एंड अल्काइन यू कैन सी हियर अल्काइन एज वन ऑफ फाइव वन इंक्रीज वन सेवेंटी एट नैनोमीटर टेन थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड यू नो सेंटीमीटर इन बस इज द इंटेंसिटी It is also due to pi to pi star transition. Sigma to sigma star 135, pi to pi star 165, or it is more than 175. As the energy gap decreases, wavelength increases, isn't it? So you have to keep in mind that. <coughs> N to pi star transition, unshared, uh, uh, sorry, unsaturated compound containing hetero atom. Unsaturated compound containing hetero atom with unshared pair of electrons shows this type of transition. Now you can see here. This is a C double bond. X X is any hetero atom. Hetero atom having lone pair of electron, unshared electron pair. So what you can have n to pi star transition. One of the electron from here undergo excitation. So you can have here n to pi star electron transition. So n to pi star here you can see in carbonyl compound pi to pi star transition. Lambda max 150 nm. N to sigma star 188. N to pi star because it is a low energy gap between the N to pi star um, antibonding orbital. It is 279 nanometer, but it is a very big. But it is a very big, isn't it? Because there is no corresponding non-bonding anti-molecular orbital. So that's why N to pi star antibonding molecular orbital shows higher absorption wavelength 279 nanometer, isn't it? Now you can see here it is acetone. N to pi star transition lambda max is 186 acetic acid here it is again oxygen lone pair of electron 204 nanometer N to pi star transition nitromethane 280 isn't it and then it is azo compound and what you can have 339 nanometer N double bond N isn't it nitrogen lone pair of electron so therefore non bonding electron undergo excitation from N to Pi star anti-bonding, so 339 nanometer is the absorption wavelength, isn't it? And to pi star transition. So whenever a molecule having hetero atom like nitrogen, oxygen, it shows and to pi star transition. Whenever a molecule having hetero atom like oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur, it shows and to pi star transition. Now and to sigma star transition. This transition takes place in saturated compounds containing one hetero atom with unshared pair of electron. How it is? See, you can see here it is C X bond. X is any you, you can say the uh, halide, saturated halide or alcohol or ether. You can say X. So it undergo n to sigma star transition, and what you can have here it is, for example, H two O, H two O, methanol. It shows a lambda max at about one sixty seven nanometer. Methanol shows one eighty four nanometer. You know, this is the height of the peak. And methyl chloride 173 nanometer, methylamine 215 nanometer, trimethylamine it is 227 nanometer, isn't it? Saturated halide, alcohol, ether, aldehyde, ketone, etc. shows this type of less energetic transition occurs at longer wavelength and to sigma star because energy gap is very less and therefore it shows higher absorption wavelength. This transition involves very weak absorption, therefore. N to sigma star transition are less significant for the structure determination. So you need to keep in mind that though there are higher absorption wavelength is observed in this case, but it is a less significant for structure determination because the nature of band is very weak or the nature of absorption is very weak. So now let you look at this once again this molecular energy diagram. Sigma to sigma star energy is more, absorption wavelength is less, less therefore weak intense band is observed. Pi to pi star energy gap is less, and therefore absorption wavelength is more. Then n to sigma star energy gap again it is less, less, and therefore absorption wavelength is more. But the nature of peak is very weak, and therefore it is not significant in structural determination. 
isn't it so these are these two transitions it is high energy transition and therefore weak intense band it is low energy transition and weak intense band and therefore it is not that much significant in structural determination so what we can have here another one n2 pi star n2 pi star transition again it is less energy transition and therefore absorption wavelength is more so n2 pi star transition shows much more absorption wavelength than any other and then the second one is pi 2 pi star transition which these two are most significant in structural determination isn't it most of the dyne are unsaturated compound shows absorption wavelength and calculated or what you can uh, determine the absorption wavelength on the basis of n2 pi star and pi 2 pi star uh, absorption only isn't it so the these these are the very much important transition pi 2 pi star and n2 pi star transition which is uh, which are significant in structural determination now you to keep in mind this only pi 2 pi star and n2 pi star sigma 2 sigma star and n2 sigma star both are forbidden because it does not give that much important information about the compound and moreover it is weak in this band okay